Okay, so it's sunny day and it's the time of year when I have to um, service the mini. So I've gone out and I've bought myself a service kit. Comes with a Crossland uh, air filter and a little oil filter from Rydex. And together, I've got some Manol synthetic 5 watt 30 inch oil. So what I'm gonna do is fit that. First step, obviously, jack up the car. The car, we've run the car for a couple of minutes just to get the engine all hot. But I'm doing the oil first so I can concentrate on the air filter and the oil filter while it drains. To get to this, you need to get underneath the car. What you're looking for is that 13 mil just there. And the drain plug nice and ready. Okay, what you do is get the 13 onto this bolt here. You should just be able to crack it. And once it's started to move, Hopefully there's enough, now, once it's started to move slightly, you should have enough jelly to do it by hand. Now, if you get your bowl ready, hopefully he says he's not gonna piss it everywhere. Now, I've got my gloves on, because I've finally been smart and remembered I have gloves. There we go. And that's gonna pour out into my thing and I've not spilled any on the drive. All right, I'll drop you back in when I get to the next stage. All right, while the oil's draining, what we're gonna do now is try and get to that oil filter just there. You see that big nut on top? That actually takes a 36 socket. And for me, I'm gonna have fun trying to get it past the strut brace, that might have to move, which will be a bit of a pain. But I'm not going to record it because you're just going to see me struggle trying to get the bolt off. But I'll show you what it looks like once I get it out. So this is the oil filter housing. You'll see there is a ring just around there that needs replacing. And the oil filter just pops right in. And you'll see the kit came with an oil filter ring and an oil filter. So what I'm going to do is just pour this little bit of excess oil so when you take it out so when you take it out you see what I've done there is I've moved the oil uh, catch can underneath the oil filter housing just to catch any dribbles but I'll pour this into there and then get everything swapped across now we just tighten that back up now the oil stopped draining you don't want to crank down too hard on that so there is a torque setting I don't know what it is off the top of my head I've gone with nipped up but not too tight because you don't want to shed that because it's a pain in the ass to fix. All right, so that has all been tightened up. Again, there's torque setting for that, but again, I've just done tight enough. So there, I'm going to check for leaks once I run everything up to temperature. What we have to do now for the oil is fill it back up there, cycle the engine a little bit, and then just check it again. But while I'm up here, it's time to replace the filter. That should be one, it's just that one. I think there was a second screw somewhere. Ah, there we are. So there's a screw not fitting just there. So one, two, and then I hope the thing, whole thing levers out. Pop out the new one, pop out the new old one, pop in the new one, job done. re screw them back on, so let's do that quick. So that's the old and new side by side. This one's got a bit of dirt in it. So that's worth doing. Just a warning on fitting this one, you do need to remove those cables from their mounting point there. So when you're putting this back on, just make sure that you get these two clips in first and then lever it over. Now we're on to filling up the oil, which is 4.5 liters because it includes a filter. So I'm gonna put about four in, turn the engine over a couple of times so it fills the filter, then check it, top it up, do the same. Uh, and that's pretty much it. One thing I do to make the oil pour nicer is I actually don't take the whole filter off. I cut a little section out and put a little air hole and then it allows the oil to flow out quite nicely. What I've done is I've just run the car for a second and you can see it's just above the min mark now 
from with the full one I initially had it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more and job's done. I know some people that might be teaching suck eggs, but it's quite nice to know that all you need is a 13 mil, the 36 mil socket on the top, and then the rest is pretty much manual labor, final jug to catch everything in. So don't be afraid to do the oil change service yourself. It's a yearly thing. You sort of stay at the filter. It's just worth doing. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna go back to trying to fix my under tray because the clips have all come out of that. Thanks very much. Cheers.